Son of a bitch. God damn it. I'm so happy. All right. Done. Actually done. Jesus Christ. Whew. After three solid days of fighting with this document, I have finally got it done. Uh, version 1.2 is now live. If you've already downloaded the game, it's a free download on DriveThruRPG for you. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll make certain you get your link delivered to you. It's going to happen. Um, everyone should have easy access to this. This is the definitive PDF version. Um, it's been edited word for word, space for space. I went through all 320 grueling pages of this dense rules heavy document redid the layout, redid all of the editing, all of it from the ground up, added sections, um, moved sections around, um, hyperlinked the whole thing, bookmarked the whole thing, uh, changed the, the cover even. It is, from the ground up, complete facelift, and it should be optimized for online play, and it should be much friendlier as a document now. So this is the final quality of life update. Um, it's live and it's done. So the PDF that you are about to download is the best that I could do. That's it. Um, all the character sheets are in there. The army entries are in there. The karma and dharma rules are expanded. Uh, the equipment packages are updated and changed. Um, the things that weren't in alphabetical order have been changed to be in alphabetical order. Like the whole bestiary has been re reorganized to be alphabetical. All kinds of stuff. So this should be a, a much sleeker, sexier, more compact and usable version of the game you already own. But now if you want to do something online with it, it should be much easier. The bookmarks and hyperlinks uh, in the um, uh, table of contents should be should make this thing a cinch. I was actually navigating it by the bookmarks I put in whenever I was editing it to do all the page XXs, which, by the way, are all accurate now. All the page XXs refer to the page that they are supposed to go to. So it should be a cinch. Now those aren't hyperlinked. That's a bridge too far for me. There's like 200 of those things. I, I have physical limitations. And, oh God, I'm so tired. The other thing about this, the other great piece of news here is that this is the final edit, period. All the layout's done. The final page count is done. The page XXs are done. It's done. So all I have to do now, uh, I actually sent all of the cover specs to our layout guy, Vic Andrade. He's currently working on those. Once he gets back to me with the final cover cover file, I'm going to print out the proof. Now I have to wait for the proof to print and get shipped to me, uh, and I'm in Alaska, so that might take a little bit. But if upon receiving the proof, it is sturdy and meets my high standards, and everything looks nice, and I got the margins correct and everything, then we're done. I'm going to hit the go button, and every one of you is going to get a link to the uh, print on demand. Now, obviously, if you've paid for a hardback, there's no cost to that for you. You've already paid for it. I've got the money sitting there in my bank account for a couple of years. I'm finally going to use that to actually pay for the hardbacks, uh, which is nice. Um, so those are going to be free to you. Uh, I don't know what the shipping costs are now. Um, that's You may have to pay those, but it should be reasonably minimal. I mean, this is a pretty hefty tome. Uh, but that's it. Um, that will divest me of the very last of the things I needed to deliver for this Kickstarter to be a success. So I can finally plant the flag on this one and say, Kickstarter fulfilled. Um, so I'm really happy this is out. I hope you guys really enjoy it. This is a golden time to start running games online because this is a super usable document. Uh, and if you do, tell me all about them. Come to the Fistiverse. Uh, I'm doing an actual play there with some people. Um, I seem to have neglected it a little bit this week, but it's not like I couldn't get back on that at some point in the near future. I've, I've actually got a, a, an actual play, a little cast thing I did uh, in, the, in the last update. You can listen to that. So if you want to know what a session sounds like whenever I run it, there you go. Um, please make your own. Uh, make, make your own stuff. The, the guidelines for doing the Kung Fu are on the blog. So get excited. Um, I actually also have uh, another update for you guys. I'm redoing the Blood from God's Eye intro adventure, so that's going to get revamped with the new rules um, and better layout. Since I can do layout a little more, uh, a little a little better now that I've got Affinity and I've got some experience working with it, uh, and I've got a new cover getting commissioned by our rockstar artist Kazuki Shinta, and it looks really good so far. Um, he has really brought a lot of intensity to the characters, and he's doing the coloring currently. So we've got a couple of things that are happening in the near future. Um, you are going to get a full adventure, just like there already is, but a much more realized adventure. 
uh, like a hefty thing, like a plot arc's worth of adventure, like three different tracks with lots of adventure and NPCs and unique monsters and cool stuff in there. Like, all that stuff for free. I'm just handing that out. Uh, I would like to do a print-on-demand of that as well, a nice little paperback. Uh, so if you guys, you know, you're going to have your hardbacks and you need an adventure or a little guide to how an adventure should look, I want you to have a really good example. So I want to make those as cheap as possible to get. Uh, the PDF is going to remain free. Actually, it's going to remain pay what you want. So if you do want to, if you know anyone who's new to this and you think they're likely to wedge some money in my tip jar, I'll put it towards art. I always do. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what's coming down the pike in the short term. Um, this was the biggest, meanest, ugliest project, uh, and it took way, way, I'm way over time budget. Um, but we are delivering. Um, it's, uh, I, I'm glad I'm, I'm really humbled and glad by how much everyone has been here for me for this whole giant project. It's been huge and cumbersome. And like I said, it's just been an ugly, it's been 10 miles of bad road, the whole thing, you know, but we're through it and we've got a post-apocalypse game that you can be proud of. This should be years worth of post-apocalypse role-playing. I, I know for a fact I designed it such as that the first year should get you through, like, it, 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 if you pace it once a week or so, you should be able to go through uh, the degree charts within that first year of, like, solid, consistent play. And you should have at least another year's worth of play um, out of the domain section, even if you can blow up whole cities at the same time. Rules account for that. So it should be pretty robust. Uh, you should get your money's worth out of this bad boy. And that's just assuming that you're going to do one consistent campaign and not a big sprawling living campaign like they're doing nowadays, um, which is nice. It's nice to see those come back from the Bronstein era um, or multiple campaigns or your friends might want to try one. It's finally a golden age for fists and I'm, I couldn't be happier. So enjoy version 1.2. As always, please send all feedback my way, negative, positive, whatever. All of the feedback I've gotten has improved this game. All of it. It's all in there somewhere. And I'm eternally in your debt. Uh, the little special thanks to people that are too numerous to list in the book, like the second page, that's for y'all. Uh, it wouldn't be here without you. And I, I can't express just how thrilled I am that y'all came along this crazy ride with me. All right. So I'm looking forward to having this do the rounds. Uh, this update is basically just me talking about it. Next update will probably be the last one for this Kickstarter, which will be nice. It'll be the, okay, you're getting your prints, and we'll see you in the next Kickstarter. What's it going to be? I don't know. Um, am I going to maybe ease off Kickstarter for a while and do something else? Like, go fund me or just make a bunch of free adventures? Beats me. I don't know what's going to happen in the near future. We'll see if this gets a lot of vibe. Uh, if we get that tasty word of mouth, word of mouth get that vibe, um, then... Yeah, maybe Kickstarter 2 should be in the works. I don't, know. I don't have anything prepped right now for Kickstarter 2. And uh, as I learned from this Kickstarter, it pays to be prepped. Um, still, you got to strike while the iron's hot. So we'll see what happens, folks. Uh, in the short term, though, please enjoy. Play the game that you've, you've paid and been so patient to receive. And, man, let me know about it. I love hearing about people play this game. Y'all are so incredible and so creative. And you have so much fun. And... It's great stuff. And even when you have problems and complaints, man, it fixes things. I love hearing about it. So thank you all so much again. I, I can't express the depth of my gratitude for you. Um, but I'm going to start. I'm going to stop gushing and let you guys get to playing. Uh, take care. Farewell. Keep fisting. <laughs>